Today we're installing faux brick panels purchased from the hardware store and we are doing it without seams, cookie cutter edges, and the dreaded German schmear. Step one is so important, buy the right panels. Don't get those red ones, you want the ones that are a little bit gray. They're only at one of the hardware stores and I will tell you that at the end of the video. Step two, mark your studs. Don't use adhesive, nail into the studs, the panels will stay up just fine. Once you get your first panel up, it's time to do the most important part, your second panel. What you see here is that I'm working very, very hard to line up the actual bricks. I'm not concerned about the top or the bottom of the panel. I want those bricks bricks and those grout lines to line up perfectly. I really think this is the biggest mistake people make. I think they worry about lining up the top and lining up the bottom and they then end up with their bricks all wonky. Quick little hack, if you come to an outlet, you just flip the cover over, use a little toothpaste on the corners, push your board up right where you want it to go. And when you pull it down, you'll be able to cut out the hole for the outlet. Because you're adding a wall panel, you do need an extender that'll make it safe and it'll make it flush. Okay, so the panels are up. They look amazing, but I wanted it to have the real texture of a brick wall. Grab a bucket of premixed sanded grout. The sanded is what makes it look like mortar. At first, I literally just scooped it up with my hands and slopped it in there. At this point, I started having doubts. I was like, oh my God, I think it looked better before. What am I doing? What I learned during this part is if you want more of a messy look like I have right there at the beginning, you want to start pushing the grout in as soon as you pipe it on. So you pipe a little bit and then you smush it in. If you want a neater look, like almost a more urban look, you're gonna wanna wait, you pipe it in, you wait a few minutes, and then you smush it in so it won't smear as much. You'll see that on the left, I kind of figured that out there. The grout is super messy and you probably wanna lay a drop cloth, but if you don't, you can just let it dry and then brush it up and throw it away. Comment link for a list of all the supplies, and if you like this detailed video and you want more, let me know in the comments.